Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and I'm here doing another review for Love Island. This is for episode 40. This was Friday's episode. I'm a little bit up late, late uploading this one, um, and Saturday and Sunday because I've been a bit busy. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do Friday, Saturday, and then both the normal Sunday episode as well as After Sun tonight, hopefully, and then tonight's episode I'm probably going to record tomorrow um, and then maybe record Tuesdays on the Wednesday and then Wednesday and see how it goes really see how it goes um, of course there's going to be spoilers in this I'll leave a link down below to episode 39 for each of the episodes today um, I've got like a little um, article from either the Sun, Closer, different kind of magazines because when I've been reading them I managed to pull something out so hopefully they should be at least more than five minutes long if not, never mind um, maybe even longer than ten, I don't know or less than fifteen, who, who knows but anyway, um, at the start of this episode um, Like a G6, classic tune by Far East Movement was playing um, and then I think Molly was selling saying at the start um there was a little voice snippet of it um tell him not to kiss francesca probably was tomorrow but i was thinking then she might tell curtis um that's what i was thinking but i'll, I'll tell you what goes on after because i think it, it it wasn't who i thought it was um francesca said you can get to know more as freely as you want but left it on that played the intro and um, there's another love triangle, and you probably guessed who it is between if you've watched um, previous episodes or seen it. Um, it's basically between Francesca, to Curtis, and Maura, because, you know, Francesca picked Curtis, but Maura wanted to pick Curtis, and then now he's t doing a toss-up between the two. Um, Curtis asked Maura for a chinwag. Basically, this means a chat, but um, Maura, you know, thought it was a dance at first, but then... You know, um, Amber said, damn son. Um, there was the more comment about sneaking into a bed. So it was like, if you sneak into my bed, would you would you sleep? Would you sleep in it or whatnot? Kirsty said, no, it's just rude and immature. Um, but more said, um, he would, she would crawl up, crawl up under his um, duvet. And all you would see is her head peeping out. <laughs> Curtis then spilt his drink, um, and then he s said, did I make you nervous? Um, Maura, you know the saying, there's deep chats flirting between them two, um, then Maura winked at him. Yeah, I think Maura maybe makes Curtis jealous, uh, I mean not jealous, sorry, nervous. Um, yeah, because she said she, she made him spill his drink. Um, when Anton cries, this is a weird one, um, his heart rate goes up, which is weird. Um, Ovi was dancing in the kitchen. Uh, the Molly statement that I mentioned at the start was actually to Tommy um, about Curtis. And maybe Tommy might tell him. I'm not too sure. Probably wouldn't, though. Because, um, you know, he's between the two. Like, he's a man of, you know, he wants to chat to both of them, like he said. Um, Joanna was wondering what their kids would be like to Michael. Um, Ovi was lying on the kitchen table. Um, Curtis um, was saying Maura made him giddy um, and nervous. So that's a sign, maybe. Um, then Jordan said, oh, how many people are in here now? He said 13 and a half. And then Anton's the half. <laughs> and then he said, man's got a text. And we heard the boys are cooking dinner tonight for the girls. Um, but first, Tommy, Jordan and Anton need to go shopping to buy the ingredients. Tiesto Jackie Chan was playing another great tune. Tommy said he's never, ever been shopping. Like, wow. Seriously, 20 years of your life and you haven't even gone to a supermarket. And then when they, when they got in, they were like, so, Tommy, this is inside of the supermarket. How do you feel? <laughs> um, and then um, he was saying, oh, let's get some asparagus, you know, for the main. 
he, at least he knew what an asparagus was, but he, he pointed to something wrong. It was a green bean. I mean, they kind of look, maybe they, they look similar to him, but, and I think Anon just said, this is a green bean. And he said, right, just make him sit in the trolley and give him a lolly to shut him up. Um, Tommy said, um, cheese enter for cheese is Spanish. I'm like, that's short. I would think that's not cheese in Spanish. I don't know what cheese is in Spanish, but it's definitely not that. Um, he didn't like the cheese, but he was like, no, no, this isn't for me. But then he just said, yeah, yeah, yeah it's good to the guy. <laughs> I was just like, wow, okay. Um, Jordan put a crab in Tommy's mouth to try it, but it's cold, so it wouldn't have tasted nice. Um, here's the the awful part as well, because this caused so much con con controversy or arguments as well. Um, Anton was saying the checkout girl was fit, and he, well, he wrote his number. I don't know if it was actually his number. Maybe it was for bands, you know. It probably was. Um, on the receipt and gave it to her. Um, Chris was having another chat with Amber. Um, Maura asked Curtis for a massage. Okay. Um, and then Curtis was like, ooh, let me check my schedule. Looked looked at an invisible um, book, whatever. Um, and then Curtis said, oh, I want your hands behind, otherwise, you know, it's going to restrain. But she thought um, he was tying her up. Of course, Francesca was watching in someone else, and she was very... Uh, yeah, Joanna and Francesca um, were watching, and I think she was getting a bit jealous. Like, if you're talking to two people and then the other person's there, they're, of course they're going to get jealous. Um, Maura was saying this is getting very sexual. Um, Joanna and Francesca thought Maura told Curtis to undo her bra. Um, Maura said, don't hurt me. And then her hands were stroking his legs. Um, yeah, she, Francesca was saying she felt uncomfortable, um, and then Morris said, first time Curtis has straddled me, and I hope it's not the last time either. Oh, okay. He's very good with his hands, she said. Um, Tommy brought Molly a lolly back, which is so sweet, because it was a heart lolly. I was like, ah. Um, Ovi cut himself while cutting, while cutting vegetables. I was like, oh no. He was like, ah. Um, Francesca found it a bit disrespectful about the massage. She did say that to Curtis during the, the date. Um, they were talking about the receipt thing. Um, Tommy told Molly, you know, it was just banter. And then she ended up telling the other people, but they didn't act like it was. Um, so for starter, they decided to do um, stuffed pepper and garlic bread. Um, then for the main seafood linguine, seafood linguine and then eat and mess for dessert uh, the starter was Ovi's idea um, the boys were missing one plate of food so they had to like um, split it you know split one plate half and half um, the girls were like banging on the table with their knife and fork and like we're hungry we're hungry um, Anton ate the rest of Belle's um, pasta then they told told Anton they told Molly um, you know, it was a joke about the receipt thing, and then the, she would say, "Oh, Bell, go mad," and maybe not see it like that. Chris and Maura, um, Francesca and Curtis, we found out are because there's going to be a there was a vote. Then they are excluded in from the vote because they're the newest arrivals, so their partner, which is Maura and Curtis, which I'm glad about are immune, but Anton about Jordan, Anna, Michael, Joanna, Ovi and Amber, Tommy and Molly, one of them will go. The results are on Sunday. They didn't have dessert yet, but that might happen on Sunday, you know. Um, also, some articles here. So, there's this one. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, like, it's saying about um, Johnny, and then there's um, a picture of Moore and Tom as well. Yeah, then there's this one with Wes and Laura here. And then this moment here where the viewers pointed out something where you one day 
which is sitting at one place at the moment and then she changed seats. I'm not going to read all of it because you know there's too much. Then there's some other stuff here which I'll read out. So, um, Molly May and Maura met in Dubai, it said. Um, Danny and Arabella worked for ASOS. Charlie, who was um, last year's Love Island star, um, which I didn't watch last year, so I didn't know, dated both Lucy and Arabella. Okay. Um, Tommy and Maura share the same management. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know if you can read it online or whatnot. Um, I'm not too sure. But then um, also there's this one. If you remember um, Marlin, who I think was... Um, Series 2 in 2016, uh, former Love Island star Malin Addison um, opens up about surviving the darkest days following her daughter's death as it are, and hopes to make, um, hopes to have another baby one day. This article here, um, I think that's from the same magazine, I can't remember, it's either close or here, and then there's another one here. Yeah, it's, it's just going through a lot here. And also, not finished there just yet, because there's um, this article here. With... So yeah, we've got this article here with Molly and X Millie, as well as um, some inside warning, I guess, to Molly. Um, I did get like an interruption in the last video, so I did have to edit a bit out. The main headline saying Tommy won't control his fury. Um, Love Island favourite Tommy Fury is controlling and aggressive according to an ex-girlfriend who claims he made her life hell. Millie Roberts 22 says the box of 20 stopped her from seeing friends and sent menacing texts during their two year fling. The student has issued a stark warning to Molly May Haig, Tommy's girlfriend on the show, to be aware of his possess possessive behaviour. And she predicts he won't be faithful once he leaves the villa. She told the son he's really controlling. If I went out and wasn't home by midnight, he would text and say, You dirty cheat. You effing slip top. I want nothing to do with you. He's aggressive in how he talks. If a guy looked at me on a night out, it'd be a kicking and screaming situation. She also said Tommy, half-brother of boxing ace Tyson, ruined a trip to Marbella. Millie added, he was so nasty and horrible, he said, you're just an effing scruff from Salford, you're a nobody, all because I was on this trip and got attention. It comes amid a flurry of compliments to Ofcom over the behaviour of the show, including Joe Garrett, Amber Gill and Anna Vakili. Sharif Lanray was earlier axed for accidentally kicking Molly May, while Amy Hart quit this week over fears she was struggling after splitting from Curtis Pritchard. Millie claims will come as a surprise to viewers who have seen Tommy's charm make him a favourite to win the show with influencer Molly May. 19 it says here, so this must have done before she got in the villa or something um but millie believes her ex only went on the show to boost his profile not to find love she added i hope for molly's sake he does actually like her and he's not just messing with her which i think you know they are the power couple you know um i would say to her to be careful and don't ignore the warning signs he will talk his way out of it he would lie to me all the time he'd lie about where he was every weekend history says he won't be loyal but that's the history we're in the present so it could be different but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'll get on to the unseen bits as well as a few more for articles so i'll see you in that next video